right, this is it. This is the finale to the Mass Effect of Summer. Now, before I start, I just want to say thank you to those who've watched, a bigger thank you to those who have joined me on the chat, but the biggest thanks goes to those who actually follow not just my Twitch channel, but also my YouTube channel as well. So with that, let's do it. Successful. Scans reveal a faint trace of Leviathan's energy signature. Closer examination required for confirmation. These coordinates match our trace of Leviathan. All right, let's go ahead and land and get the Leviathan. Don't just talk about Edie. Do it. Oh, and then we got Ashley back too. Accuracy is more important than rate of fire any day. I think recharge speed is a little more important. originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. What exactly are we expecting to find down there? Bryson's team called it a Reaper killer. From what we've seen, it doesn't want to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Sure, but then what do we do? It doesn't exactly play well with others. And if it's a Reaper, is that the sort of help we want? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need his help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible. Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! So kind of the results. Systems are shutting down. Brace for impact. Ships. How long have they been here? Too long. Shepard, one of those artifacts. Data pad log. Anton Brooks. The hull will hold. That's what they say. 
Whatever guy watches over at Ezo Prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. Big puzzle? What downed us in the first place? Tension said it wasn't lightning. It was some kind of pulse. A direct energy weapon seems likely. But where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. Tonight, the techs are going to try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If the ball goes off, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. Okay. Why no one gets out? Any idea how old these are? Hard to say. I'm not seeing any wounds. There's an artifact, but I can't get it. Oh well. data pad. Another log from Kunshin. Attempts to get airborne have failed every time. The damage done by the pulses, if we call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the Monarch's thruster is disengaged. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no choice. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. Not an uncommon practice, actually, when Sailors were out at sea and water was scarce. They would have to wait for a storm for fresh rainwater to come down to fill the barrels. Anyways, it, kept, it keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the train's weapons to try blast fishing. Oh, one last thing I should add in is that, uh, yeah, another thing I should mention is that, uh, if you're out at sea and if you need water, do not drink ocean water. Well, not only because it's dirty, but because there's a high concentration of, I believe it's sodium, I believe, or salt. Yeah, not drinkable. And there is a way to siphon the salt out of water, but it's very complicated. Anyways, as I was saying, I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I were an optimist. Got another artifact here. Got 55 Argus. Got an Omniblade. Boy, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm just begging to be discovered. Anyways, the rations will hold us two days more. Burke sent a drone to the bottom, and it came up with bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but Romero and Mullins tried it anyways. Idiots. They haven't stopped vomiting, and their dehydration wastes fresh water. We sent Kushan's team on a raft over to the wreck. It came back with spheres, some kind of organic base alien technology, and nothing to eat. What, you expect to eat the artifacts? Anyways, I want to believe they'll give us some answers. But if they had helped the other ships figure out what happened, they wouldn't be here now, would they? It's getting cold. Star charts. Eh. Oh, another data pad. Alright, from Captain Abel Pratt. Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kushan and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They show no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I am no longer in control. I held the funeral to keep order. The crew would have been in. Let's try that again. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He will be tethered in the water to attract scavenging animals that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of its plan this planet states, we cut him loose as a water burial. We've sealed the tritons off. They're dangerous, especially given the crew's mental state. My kingdom for a shark. I don't know one thing for certain. You're sure as heck ain't gonna get a horse out here. That's for sure. Got another data pad from Incarna Camacho. The captain gets it now. He tried to lock himself in the ship, screaming that he had to fix it. We were gentle, one person for each limb. We we let him rest on the sphere. Sometime sometime in the middle of the night, he came around and now he agrees. We won't leave. Why would we? I think this would be my last entry. Everyone here understands me. If anyone finds this, they might feel differently. But that can be fixed in time. It's so good not being hungry anymore. Something tells me here that's not a good thing. Anyways, let's continue on. One of these artifacts. Hmm.
But our good friends, the Brutes. development are we talking about here? Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Why not have the Normandy pick us up? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. Can I answer your question? Considering. First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I suppose we are. These old Ballard class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. I've got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in.
Get you out of there and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I have to say this plan is sounding crazier by the minute. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two. Hello, welcome to the finale here. How's it going? Shoot holding up, Commander. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Well, yeah, if you're that deep in the ocean, yeah, you're bound to, uh... Loose side of the Leva... Loose side of comms. Doing all right. Uh, just playing in a uh, sauna-filled uh, office. Other than that, I'm doing all right. Jellyfish. If you thought getting stung by a uh, box jellyfish was painful, imagine getting stung by one of them. Juice the emergency thruster we need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Well, they always say uh, at the bottom of the ocean floor there's always uh, activity going on, but we know very little about it. In fact, some studies say that uh, it could be like another civilization. Reading the probe directly below me. At the ocean bottom. Looks like the final drop. But like I said, we don't know that because we know very little about it. There's the probe. There it is. 
on the probe. Seems intact. Something seems off about the gauge moving. here. It's reading at 3,275 meters depth, but it's more in the 4,000 range. safe to say that the enemy of my enemy is a I friend. You were a reaper. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. Your mind belongs to me. Answer me this, why are you shape-shifting? Today, we reach 
chunks and fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle for the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays, to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution, it's true. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No. You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. are big dudes. Your confidence is singular. I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We will first the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. Oh, what a dream. What was Al for? Home. I think 
goes that mech. Could have used it right about now. Location, or to just pull a tendon, or damn it, we got a reefer inbound. I mean, you didn't pull a rotator cuff or anything, did you? Of course, if you can't put that thing off forever, I would suggest to uh, have it looked at. Shepard, snap out of it. He's freezing. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. We're lucky we got you back. What happened down there? We found it. It's real. And a lot more than we ever imagined. So was it you might not have, uh... For? This feels heavy and numb. You might have slept on it awkwardly, or... I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. Or, part or it's probably just a stretch, like you know? And it's gonna help fight. That's incredible. Yeah. Of course, though, if you sleep on a uh, limb or any uh, joint awkwardly, uh, you you will uh, cut blood flow. And then when you wake up, it's gonna feel a little numb. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning, and maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. That's right. I saw all this stuff we have to do. There is a ton I have to do here. Well, just keep in mind that the uh, comfort level of a uh, couch in comparison to a mattress is way different. So basically, it looks like so basically, the Citadel is the hot spot for everything here. Hmm. And we still have a lot to do here before we can call this end game. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible? Five ex Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from Planet Garvak. 
Oh, I have a lot to finish here. Um, for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax's part in instigating an illegal war on I'll wait for this conversation to end. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists' amnesty and an invitation right away. In fact, if you want to, that's not what I want. If you want to go take a look, all this right here. Yeah. I can only imagine talking to something so huge, so alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. Greetings, Commander. I've been thinking about what we learned, Shepard. The thing is, I don't really care what the Reapers are or where they're from. They're monsters that need to be put down. That's all I need to know. Let's see if I get my... now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. Joker and Edie are going to purgatory next time we're at the Citadel. Can't wait to see how that turns out. Yeah, I can only imagine. All right. Some rations, very nice. Oh. Uh oh. No. So that's what happens, huh? You're dead. Huh. I see. Signal confirmed. Interesting. Okay. It does seem kind of silly that, uh, we have tons of upgrades, and yet... Yeah, we can't use them. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, like I said, I finally got my answer, so... Let's go to MIL, and then we'll call it a day. fuel deposit here. Alright, well, I don't have enough fuel anyway, so... I guess we can always come back later. Oh. 
found something. That's a world map. Oh, very nice. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go find those, uh, scientist dudes. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have no information on that. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a server squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Wow, look who it is! Our old friend Jacob. I'm very surprised. Cerberus abandoned this place. Pretty damn chilly. All right, just keep moving. What do these people do to bring this down on their heads? We can't hold them much longer. Who's here? Shepherd, Jacob. How bad? I'll live. <laughs> I think. This is Brent. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Brent. 
Alright, see you in just a bit. Interesting that Jacob would uh, uh turn his back on the uh, okay. Cerberus yeah. after all we've done I'll for him. Off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's Dang on the well. house. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex Cerberus. Scientists mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, By I that, should see I to mean, my people. I'm good. Join me upstairs when you can. All right. You know this guy, Jacob? More ex Cerberus? No, I'm so he worked with me to stop the collectors. I didn't want to come here with these people. It was his idea. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. I have a message from Horace to Bryn. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined, and our worst nightmares kind of imagined. And even beyond that, I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up and talk ASAP. H. Okay. Stockholm 
cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did so many escape? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped the ante. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. And not one more lost. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Commander Shepard. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Personal log, Bryn Cole. With Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Makeda Scott, Daniel Chunhei, Anika, and so many others that I didn't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to stay just one more day. What was I thinking? I don't know. What were you thinking? Better yet, best Jim, not to know. I'm in here. Hey. Okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? 
Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Nothing is more important than finding a way to beat the Reapers. These people are important. Their ideals, their knowledge. Someone needs to fight for them. I don't know. Seems like a waste of your skills. I'll take that as a compliment. How long have you known Bryn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Outpost report, Jacob Taylor. Outpost now 48% operational. We've organized some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer ship Cerberus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how exposed they are. I'm going to look to find, look into finding us some shielding on the black market. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let I told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. Look, let's just focus on getting out of here alive. Just go. No, no. Badly equipped, guns offline. It would have been a massacre. They are brave, but misguided. And now they may all be dead. Hostiles! online now.
We got company. Oh, all the way over there. Oh, this should be all the way over here. Nice pose, buddy. Looks like you're just uh, really drawing yourself over there. Yeah. 
Power the repairs coming. I need more time. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Alright, welcome Jack, back. What do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here!
Squad reinforcement has landed. Jacob, hang tight. We'll clear your landing zone. Skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. And now there's something you can do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Back it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I mean, Jacob, in my opinion, was just uh, Shepherd out. I mean, he wasn't too bad, but he's not exactly one of the best. A little bit measurable. All right, well. I also got a lot more assets to find. More resources, too. But this takes care of the scientists. I just figured you'd be more sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. But you've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted the cake app, like everyone
like I said, short leap I'm not quite ready for yet. regiment. Oh, what do we have here? Alright, well, okay then. Okay, so. I'm just gonna focus on completing some of these more minor quests. Oh god. Okay, I think we're gonna come back later. Let's get some more fuel and let's get out of here. They get faster, I think, the more missions you complete. Supposedly. My god, that was that was freaky. Getting killed. Oh. Alright. Let's see what we have here. I know where the artifact is. But now I got a bunch of Reapers uh, coming after me. Leave me alone. Faster than light, just yeah, missed. Successful. 
That was super close. Oh, good, a uh, fuel depot. I always go speak with the uh, Quarians, because why not? Let's see if there's anything else here before we speak. your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Rana? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago. We lost our war to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them. We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Where's Tally in all this? Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Shepard. There she is. There's Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped. Thanks, but I knew you had your own problems. I'm sorry about Earth. 
We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. And what about us? Would us being together divide the fleet? No. Well, possibly. I, uh, I don't know. But right now, I've got civilian ships taking fire. Can we keep this quiet? At least in front of the admirals? Sure thing, Miss Us Normandy. Well, thank you. If you want to talk in private, maybe you could invite me up to your cabin? Maybe I could. And for the record, still totally worth it. So between Liara and Tally, I don't know who I like more. I'm trying not to look over there. Well, first things first, hang on. What's the matter, Vicari? You chicken? Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. It's good to see you. At your service. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. You know, I think just for the sake of a uh, argument, let's invite Tally up. Since we haven't seen Tell her in a while. I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. Hey. You're not alone. This was supposed to be my father's fight, but he left me with all of this. If they die because of me, I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought... You'd take the chance to make things better. You have given up so much, stood for too long without allies. I didn't want you to do this alone. So, if you're ever lonely, just let me know. Tally, nothing between us has changed. Unless you wanted to. Kila, Shepard. I'm not going to beg, but I didn't come up here just to see the fish. No, you came up here because I asked you to. I want you here. With me. Okay.
Well, so much for that. But it's good to uh, get reunited with that tally. Alright. With that out of the way. Let's, uh... Disable this dreadnought. What do we have all over here now? Migrant fleet. Oh, it's just uh. Let's do this. All right, so we got Tally back. Sure. Oh, that is so going up for sure. We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Ouch. Once we're aboard, we find 
whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Nice to meet you, Sparks. Sparks? Yeah, you've got lights in your... Uh... Dad, you're kind of small and jumpy. It just came out. If you say so. Shepard, there's a problem. Oh, James, ain't water. you the uh, smooth talker? I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Oh, it's one of these. Alright, I get to play a, I get to play the role of a hamster for a while. Well that's nice. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an alliance dreadnought. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. Alright, um, thanks for stopping by and thanks for chatting. another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. All right, here we go. Say that you know what happens. You know what happens. Well, I don't actually know where I'm going. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. 
In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Lovely. Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. 
Let's get the Reaper signal and turn the tables on these bastards. Console is operational. Well, I'm sure it is. You just have to, uh, have to work your way around it. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. So. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait. If I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the door. Yeah, where to spoil? Where to? Yeah, where to spoil everything, Edie?
I'm moving. The main thing is all the enemies are cleared. Oh, oh. I asked myself a silly question, gave myself a silly answer. There it is, there's the core. To let the stream run a little longer, I will. You. you were worried? 
You bet I was. You dying because the Geth overrode my hack? Think of my reputation. Yeah, you were worried. Come on, the drive force shouldn't be far. And if you die, Shepard, who else was I going to marry? Hmm?
focus on the Geth. We'll worry about the Admirals later. Care of the prime. So what now? I think that's the last of them. We have to go all the way to the other side and disable the, the uh, link from there. By we, you mean me, right? Shepard deflate. Hold fire. I repeat, hold fire. They're not responding. Damn it. Shepard Commander, we have taken control of docking protocols. We'll be right there. Ow. Fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? I can't help them win this war if they're gonna go off half cocked like this. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard? And Talizora? 
They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military. You understand that. I understand that you ignored the plan and charged in without thinking. The Dreadnought was a perfect time. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait! Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about it? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized. But once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. All right, I think this is going to be good enough for now. Thank you to everyone who watched. Thank you to those who joined me in the chat. This is the end of the Mass Effect of Summer, and I'll see you guys next time.